Okay, so uh, what I would like to do is now motivate the study of single molecules by telling you a little bit about how in my laboratory we started studying molecules one at a time. Uh, and for that I'm going to tell you a story about the elasticity of single DNA molecules. Many years ago uh, we were studying how molecules of DNA actually move inside a gel. As you know, electrophoresis is a very powerful technique that biochemists constantly use to separate molecules of different size, molecules of DNA of different size, or molecules of proteins, protein molecules of different size. Um, in this particular case, we wanted to know how is really that molecules of DNA separate by size. In order to do that, what we did was an experiment where we mixed molecules of DNA with ethidium bromide, which is a dye that intercalates in the DNA and that renders the molecules fluorescent. Now, we mix these molecules of DNA with a gel, in this case was agarose gel, and then we put them between a slide and a covered slip, allow the gel to harden, and then we seal this covered slip uh, with nail polish. It is always good to actually have some nail polish around in the laboratory. And then we applied two electrodes on both sides of the slide, and we look at this slide covered slip type of uh, chamber under the, an, a fluorescent microscope, an optical fluorescent microscope. And what you see is, what we saw, is what you see in this movie. As you can see, actually the molecules of DNA, in this case these are molecules of T4, bacteriophage T4, are moving all towards the positive electrode, right? But notice that the molecules are actually extending as they go to the positive electrode, both arms in the direction of the positive electrode, but one of the arms is usually l larger, just by chance, than the other, has more charge, more phosphates, and therefore experiences more force, and it will win the battle, and will end up actually pulling the other arm around the corner, as indicated here, right? There it goes, notice how it pulls around the corner, and the molecule actually collapses again to start a new cycle. This repeats over and over, but what I would like you to notice is how, when the collapse occurs, how elastic the molecule appears when the collapse occurs, right? In other words, when the, that particular arm turns the corner, notice it carries, catches up very fast. And that really surprised us quite a bit. We, in fact, knew about elasticity, but seeing the elasticity at play actually was a great motivation. And so we thought, why not actually trying to understand the elasticity of a single molecule of DNA. 